What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about uh, Meet Me in St. Louis. This is another one that I reviewed before, but unfortunately I didn't have the sound turned on, so hopefully this time it'll turn out okay. Um, this movie's kind of an ensemble piece. It tells the story of uh, all the different things that are going on in the Smith household. Um, you, have the you have the older daughters who are kind of seeking out romance. You have the father who's trying to, you know, get his work done and make a, provide a good life for his family. You have the mom who's just trying to hold everybody together. And then you have the two younger daughters that are like super mischievous and always getting into trouble and causing problems. And then you have uh, an older son who is uh, about to head off to college. There's a lot of stuff going on inside this household and the movie, um, you know, kind of takes turns highlighting each of the stories. Uh, but the main primary story going on is that uh, the older daughters are trying to find romance and the World's Fair is coming. Uh, so that's kind of what it hinges on is the two older daughters, you know, who, you know, are looking for love. One is, uh, you know, interested in a guy, but he doesn't seem to, uh, you know, be well. That's kind of the case with both the daughters. They're both interested in people who don't really seem to be all that interested in them. And that leads to some, you know, humorous situations. Um, this is a musical, so I can kind of understand why some people maybe wouldn't have given it a chance if you don't normally like musicals. But it's not one where, like, they pull back the curtains and this gigantic, you know, the dancing girls come down with the canes and stuff. It's not like that. Um, it just kind of works its way into the dialogue. Or there are scenes where, like, they're at a party and kind of a, a song and dance number breaks out. It's not, it's kind of small scale. It's not this big showy, you know, show tunes type of thing, but it does have really cool music, very catchy songs. I really like the, uh, I really, really like the music in this one. Um, it's also an older film, obviously, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, it's not a dusty old relic kind of a movie. I love the dialogue in this. I think it has some really, really funny, sharp lines. It also has kind of a dark sense of humor to it. Uh, Margaret O'Brien plays one of the younger daughters and she is absolutely off the rails like the stuff that she says she gives these just morbid conversations with people and this strange banter there is this really weird Halloween scene that's like completely nuts uh, and very disturbing uh, but the movie itself is very overall is very upbeat and brisk again I really really like the dialogue I love how there's always so much like hustle and bustle inside of the house, and yet somehow the dad remains like completely oblivious to everything that's going on. Um, I love the chemistry between the main uh, cast members. I just think it really works. It's just a really fun, funny movie. Um, it definitely doesn't never feel slow. It never feels like, you know, some uh, older movies have some pacing issues, especially when you compare them to like the, you know, ADD driven movies of uh, today. But this one never feels slow. It never feels dull. There's always something going on. Somebody is always has something interesting to say or there's like a comedic situation going on. But the movie also has some effective emotional beats, but it's mo it's not really a super serious movie. It's mostly really light, fluffy comedy, and it really works. Uh, Judy Garland is really good in this, but Margaret O'Brien absolutely steals the show. Uh, she got a uh, special Oscar for her performance here, and she was just a little kid, but like the, the things that she says are just so ridiculous. It's really, really fun. Um, so if you just like kind of a slightly dark humor and really, really sharp, memorable dialogue, Meet Me in St. Louis has a lot of that. Um, again, don't write it off just because it's an older movie or because it's a musical, because while those things are true, um, it definitely doesn't fall into the usual, you know, it doesn't feel like an old dusty musical. It feels like a really fresh, still very much lively movie. And again, I just had a lot of fun with it. And I think uh, anybody who has an interest in film or anybody who has an interest in uh, really good performances or really good dialogue, kind of a just the Halloween scene alone is probably would bring in people who maybe ordinarily wouldn't watch it just because it is so weird. But uh, I think the dialogue is the main thing that drives this movie. I know a lot of people will say it's the songs, but for me, the dialogue is what I got the most out of. I really liked the banner between the characters. So um, I would definitely highly recommend it. I got to see it at a theater a couple times. If you can, I would definitely see it at a theater with a crowd. That's the best way to see it. But if not, uh, there's a really good looking Blu-ray out there as well. So that's my review of Meet Me in St. Louis. I hope you liked it. Um, even if you don't like musicals or classic movies, I hope you at least give it a chance if you think it sounds somewhat interesting. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. You can check out my website, markfusion.com. I'm also on Letterboxd at MarkFusion if you want to follow me there. Uh, but the best thing you can do to help me out, as always, is just to hit that sub button here. It's a direct, easy, free way to support me so that I can continue to make content. Um, even though YouTube is, you know, a little bit wonky with everything every once in a while, that uh, sub count is definitely like a concrete thing that I can uh, judge my progress by. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope the sound works this time. Uh, thank you so much. Again, I really, really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.